So here we have the Vauxhall Zafira on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well. Uh, at the moment we have five seats in place so you can see the rear three seats just there. We have two more that will fold up from the rear. I'll show you how much space you have with those folded up now. And that is with the rear two in place. So you still have a bit of boot space at the back there but we now have all seven seats as you can see. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer over on the right-hand side. In the centre at the top, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. And beneath that, we have the main trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 49,916. Uh, above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change information that's displayed there for various bits of trip computer and other menus available as well. And that's all done using controls on the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have cruise control, speed limiter, phone and stereo controls available. You'll only be able to use the phone controls once you pair the phone up to the car, which is done over on the touch screen in the centre. Above that, first of all, we have the hazard warning lights, deadlock so you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. And then on here, as I say, you can pair your phone. Just follow the instructions on screen uh, from there once it brings up your phone. Uh, audio wise, we have AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input and Bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly. You can also project certain voxel friendly apps up onto this screen by connecting up your smartphone as well. Working our way down from there, we have the main volume for the stereo. Uh, we then have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the temperature fan speed and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is on at the minute, so you can turn it off. Back on again with our heated rear screen. This button will recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set. We have some storage underneath here and a 12 volt charging socket and USB input. We then have the six speed manual gearbox. Uh, you can turn the parking sensors on and off. And this button turns off the traction control for the car as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call us here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.